4033. The monsoons will be upon us directly. The orangutans are unaffected, going about their work of building their nests in the trees for the night's rest. The rainy seasons here in Borneo seem to grow longer with each passing year. But Geoffrey, dear Geoffrey, seems to take them in stride. I don't know what I'd do without him. As I sit worrying about the impending storm, he's out picking berries for our table. His strong and reassuring presence has been a constant and, in fact, my only source of companionship and comfort these past four years. And so my work continues on the adaptive diversity and mimicry traits of the higher order primates. Jeffrey, the door. <laughs> Right, I know I'm closer, but I'm writing. Okay, Mr. Lazy Bones. Huey, I'm glad to see you made it safely upriver. Oh, I've never known a researcher like you. I don't see you for four months, and then still you won't take your nose out of that damn journal. Huey just came in with provisions and chided me once again for always writing in my journal. But this time, I think I've got something that'll make even you look up out of that damn book of yours. <clears throat> That's what he thinks. Your sister Peg is here. Cece? My stinky Cece? Peg? Yeah. Peggy? <laughs> Peggy? You're safe. After not hearing from you all this time, we thought you'd become an ingredient in some heathen bouillabaisse. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it, it's unforgivable not to have written, but uh, that's how engrossed Jeffrey and I have been in our work. Jeffrey? You have a Jeffrey? At last, something normal in your life. Hey, this is Jeffrey. Oh. 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 Yes, quite a firm grip. I like that in a whatever you call them. <laughs> the, uh, the height is unfortunate. <laughs> Peggy, you're such a hoot. Yeah. I adore you. And I can tell Jeffrey's quite fond of you, too. Well, I guess I gotta go deliver cigarettes, uh, whiskey, and girly magazines upriver. Those missionaries hate it if I'm late. <laughs> Thank you. See, I, 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 I've almost forgotten why I've come here. It's a... Uh, oh. That's, uh, well, actually, Cece, it's, um, it's grandmother. She's, she's taken quite ill, and the, the family thinks she's asking for you. What do you mean, thinks? Well, her voice is very weak. We're never sure if she's asking for you or more Kleenex. I wish I could see her. Wish? I mean, I came all this way to get you. I can't, my work. This is a woman who gave you your first Petri dish. A woman who is even now funding your research here. A woman who loves you more than anyone. Gosh, I've been out here so long, I've forgotten what a guilt trip sounds like. <laughs> well, Cece? Peg, I, I've raised Jeffrey since birth. He can't take care of himself in the wild. I can't leave him. I... All right, all right, Cece. I wasn't going to say this to you, but... <sighs> Grandmother is going fast. She barely has the strength to spit at the servants anymore. <laughs> oh. <sighs> then I have no choice. I'm going to have to give Jeffrey up to a hostile, primitive, deadly environment and pray that his natural instincts for survival will indeed be strong enough to sustain him. Jeffrey, I'm taking you to New York. Day 7, Manhattan. 
I've been too busy to write, but grandmother's now out of danger. We buried her on Thursday. I wanted to return home to Borneo immediately, but Peg insisted it would lift our spirits to see a bit of New York City. I realize now I can never return to what people call civilization. Jeffrey's adaptive behavior is quite startling in this situation. Sometimes I suspect he actually enjoys the nightlife. Thank God we shall be leaving after Peg's farewell soiree tomorrow evening. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never knew that one. <laughs> what a marvelous party uh, this has been. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 he's much more fun than the Kissingers. <laughs> Basically, they do the same tricks. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, here's your eight o'clock present. <laughs> Stop spoiling him. Oh, he is not a human being. He is an animal. <laughs> and he does not enjoy, appreciate, or understand these doodads. Oh. Thank heaven we're leaving tomorrow. Yes. Cease. Cease, won't you please reconsider? We're family again. Please stay. Oh. It's out of the question. Cease, you know, you've always been so self-centered. You're not thinking of Jeffrey at all. He loves it here. That's a dirty lie. He would shrivel up and die in this urban environment with your overstuffed furniture and your plastic friends. Now, see, stop it. Jeffrey wants to stay here. He intimated so over cocktails. Cocktails? You're, you're, you're giving him liquor? A banana daiquiri. He loved it. Well, we're not waiting for tomorrow. We're leaving right now. Oh. Come on, Jeff. I don't think he wants to go, see. Of course he does. Why don't you let him decide? Mm. Oh, don't be ridiculous. For Jeffrey, there is no decision. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. Come on, old friend, come on. Got to go now. We can't stay forever. Have to go back where we belong, don't we? Back to the jungle. Back to our nice hut. Now, Jeffrey, won't you come along now? Oh, oh good. Yes, Jeffrey. Yes, yes. Oh, wonderful. Yes, wonderful. Oh, sweetheart. Yeah. Well, you've proven yourself to be an ungrateful, inconsiderate monster. But I was right. Simeons can take on human characteristics. Good night. Day 4,373. It's been nearly a year now since my return to Borneo. I hope I did the right thing, leaving Jeffrey with Peg. It's been harder than I imagined without him. Every time I hear a knock on the door, I think maybe this time it's Jeffrey. Sometimes I almost think I can hear his knuckles dragging along the floor and I can almost smell his damp and musky fur. Well, look who's here. So, you finally came rolling in, smelling of civilization. What's the matter? You get tired of your society friends. Couldn't get tickets to Les Miserables. The wine not good enough for you at Lutess, hmm? And you were so sure old Ceci would be waiting for you with a bowl of berries in her hand, desperate to take you back no matter what. Well, are you sure this is where you want to be? Come here, 
you big ape. Oh, it's good to be back.